Hi everybody, this is Robert Rivera with uh, Rivera Trading Group in association with Trend Trading Academy. And this is another edition of uh, Wisdom Bits from uh, Robert's car. I have no idea how to call this thing. I just keep coming up with names as I go. Maybe one of them will stick. Um, but today I wanna talk about discipline. I mentioned it on the last uh, video. And discipline is so important. Oh my goodness, it's so important. And as I mentioned in the last one, um, everything works with discipline and nothing works without it. Um, the best strategy will not work without discipline. And so there are five components. I mean, there are many components to discipline, but there are five that I want to uh, speak about. The first one is intention. Uh, what is the goal? You know, what are we doing this for? What is, what's the why? Why are you doing this? Whether it's a diet program, whether it's going back to school, whether anything that has to do with goal setting. You know, why are you doing it? That's the most important thing and the thing that you have to keep in front of you at all times. Um, that's something that you, should, you need to have written right on your computer, keep it on your mirror, uh, something that keeps you constantly in the intent of what you're going after. So that's number one, what is your intention? What is your why? Uh, number two is what are the rules that you're going to set? That's your plan. That's your plan of action. You know, how are you going to go about accomplishing this? It has to be detailed. It has to be, uh, for example, for a trader, since since all you are traders, mostly who are gonna be watching this. Um, for a trader, some rules. I only trade during the London session. I only trade from 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. I only trade breakout. I only I only trade the, the retest, for example. Um, I always wait for the 30 minute candle to close, for example. You know, um, moving crossovers, uh, uh, moving average crossovers. I only take trades when the EMA crosses the SMA. I mean, you know, I only take uh, trend line breaks. Um, I only take reversals. Whatever the rules they are, you have to make them detailed. And you have to, uh, the more detailed, the better. Um, not to make it into a huge essay, just something that doesn't leave you any loopholes because the way our mind works is it just looks for loopholes. Well, I did this and uh, um, I kind of didn't follow exactly my plan, but um, but I tried. Uh, baloney, you know what I mean? Either you do or you don't. So um, make it a detailed plan. Number three is habits. Number three is habits, repetition. You gotta do that plan over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Um, there is nothing that we can become great at without developing the habit of uh, of doing it over and over. Any athlete, any performer, anybody who has accomplished anything, heck, we don't even have to go that far, okay? If you learn how to walk, if you learn how to write, uh, you did so by repetition, over and over and over and over. You fell, you stood up. You fell, you stood up. You fell, you stood up. I mean, how many times will a kid fall until the parent says, okay, you've, you've fallen way too many times, you can stay on your butt. No, right? The kid is gonna learn to walk, period. So it's the same thing with anything that you're going after. He's gotta re continue to repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it until it becomes unconscious. Once that repetition has become unconscious, now you have that unconscious competence that we talk about where you don't even have to think about it, you just do it. But that takes time, okay? So this is not a quick key, uh, quick uh, uh, profit or quick uh, rich scheme. You know, This is gonna take time. Uh, time frame. When are you going to perform these tasks? You know, it's not likely that we can be disciplined 24-7. That's just unrealistic. You know, nobody does. The best athlete and the most strict athlete always gives themselves an out. Either a day, an hour, a set time to relax. Um, you cannot be disciplined 24-7 uh, or it's not likely that you're going to. So choose your time frame. When are you going to perform these tasks? You know, what is your what is your trading time? When is it you're going to do this? You know, and set a specific time of the day, of the week in which you're going to do this. That will become part of your routine. That will become part of your habit building and that will become part of your rules. So what is the time frame? That would be number four. And then lastly is accountability. You know, who are you doing this for? Um, whose opinion is it, this is, this is a big one, whose opinion is it that it would hurt you to disappoint? Who is it in your life that if you don't follow through on what you say you're going to do, you are going to disappoint and that that will hurt you? That could be your coach, that could be your mentor, that could be your spouse, that could be your children, but you need somebody that you're accountable to 
because most of the time, the disciplines that we're trying to implement into our lives are difficult to follow. There's a reason why we haven't developed them yet. It's because we've been stalling, because we're procrastinating, whatever it is that we're doing procrastination, that could be a next topic. You know, we're procrastinating on doing the things that we know we should do, which by the way, is what I call discipline. Discipline is the ability to give yourself a command and follow it. You know, that's discipline. The ability to give yourself a command and follow it. So, but, but in order to accomplish that, there are some components that need to be into that discipline. And these are the five that I have, uh, there are many, but these are five that I think are important. Intention, rules, habits, the time frame in which you're going to accomplish it, and accountability. Find someone that you respect. It has to be somebody you respect. If, if you don't respect them, then you're, you're not gonna respect yourself. I mean, ultimately, you're accountable to yourself. You need to, be look, you need to be able to look in the mirror and respect yourself. And there is no greater level of confidence that you can accomplish when you make yourself do what you know you should do. Your confidence grows exponentially when you do what you told yourself to do. And that can be difficult in many things in your life, by the way. If you have not developed discipline in other things in your life, when you come to trading, trading is gonna be difficult for you because trading requires a lot of, a lot of discipline. It really does. Um, you know, not entering into a trade by impulsivity, not jumping into a trade when you know it's gone. I mean, it, it just takes discipline. And so um, if you are disciplined in other areas of your life, then creating discipline in, in, in trading is gonna be easier for you. But if you have not, then this is gonna take you a little bit of time. Now you can do it, just stick to the process. Stick to the process. And again, I'll say it one more time. Intention, what is your why? Why are you doing this for? Your rules, what is the plan that you're following? Habits, repetition, doing it over and over again. Time frame, when is it that you're going to do it? When is specifically is it that you're going to follow this plan? And accountability, who are you doing this for? And who are you gonna hold yourself accountable to? And you will succeed if you follow the process. Okay, I've said enough. God bless you guys. This is Robert Rivera with Rivera Trading Group in association with Trend Trading Academy. God bless you all. Bye.